Hi, I'm BB New Earth. Now put your jammies on, brush your teeth, wash your face, comb your hair, get into bed with Dan and Kelly. Jason, Jason Ritter! Ritter. Yes, it's Jason Ritter from... Oh. <laughs> You're going backwards! And the car. <laughs> there you go. Hopefully we're going you forwards. Were, you were upstaged by the car. Yeah, that happens to me a lot. <laughs> and what what is this about good yeah. yeah, the movie. Because we were now, talking about it before, uh, Kelly because and Jason's I. Jason's girlfriend. Now she wrote it and directed it. Mary, yeah, Mary Ellen Parker wrote and directed it, and she, we acted in it together, and uh, and produced it and shot it in our apartment, and got all our friends to help. And in your apartment? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. I know you get razzed about the name. Okay, so just in a nutshell. <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> in a nutshell. Let's talk about the good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Always wear a condom if you're drinking. <laughs> yes. Well, it's a good idea. Yes. I... <laughs> Whoever told you that before? Okay. Little Girl Blue. Oh. The Life of Karen Carpenter. Written by whom? Ah, it's written by Randy Schmidt. Okay. And this is the first unauthorized book about Karen Carpenter. So there's a lot of wonderful stuff in here. Now, I have to tell you, I loved the Carpenters back when I was growing up. You know, I mean, back then, it was the rock and roll they, 60s. They, they had the Carpenters back then. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> now, if I have this correct, your show business debut was when you were one years old and you were in the opening credits of the legendary TV sitcom Three's Company that starred your dad mm -hmm. and I think it did like for two or three seasons, right? Yeah, that was uh, yeah. It was uh, yeah. I, I wandered on. I actually ruined a shot, but then they just kept it because it was nice. <laughs> but I, I got out of my mom's arms and walked right into the frame, and they're like, "Ah, keep it." See, it was destined. That's yeah, great. Exactly. And of course, sorry, his dad is John Ritter. Of course, if nobody knows by now, my gosh. Yes. Uh, he played Jack. Yeah, Jack Tripper. Yes. He played Jack Tripper. <laughs> What's the most surprising thing you have discovered about growing older? Anything unexpected? Oh, God. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever worked retail before? Well, they don't know this, but you and I met yeah. many moons ago, fragrance modeling at, was it Robinson's May? Uh, yeah. Robinson's May. Now, some of these women and me men, crazy. and men that oh, yeah. come in this store, yeah. their faces, all done. I mean, all no surgically tied. I get women walking in. They look like ducks. Oh yeah, 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 with the duck lips. Okay, these women don't that have the cosmetic surgery. They don't look younger. They look done. What is it? Okay. that women think that these lips are attractive. I know. Give me a break. And they come back like this. And okay, here you want to show this, Dan? We're we're venting today. We're venting. Okay. Today. No, Dan Ugh. saw this. I saw this and about croaked. Okay, now get up there, Dan. Get up there, Connie Francis. I Mia, mean, Mia Farrell. This is a mess. And Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers doesn't even look no. like Kenny. I mean, why do people do this to themselves? I mean. I have to accept that people are nuts. <laughs> Half the people in my movies have been in prison. I mean, that's, we played on Crybaby the game, Have You Been in Jail? And every person had. Hi, this is Jackie Hoffman. And I'm Grandma and Broadway's Adams Family. And I'm getting hot, so I'm in bed with Dan and Kelly. You know, people were listening to Mick Jagger, the yeah. Rolling Stones, mm -hmm. the Beatles, Creedence Clearwater Revival. I mean, I like some of the stuff they did, but the Carpenters I was listening to, Tijuana Brass I was listening to, and the Ray Khan of Singers. Oh but God, see, you know Ray what? Kind of they were so what attracted you to Karen Carpenter. You know what? They were so milk toast and yeah. wholesome. I was embarrassed to admit that I liked the Carpenters. So I kind of like was a closeted mm -hmm. Carpenter lover. Yeah. What attracted me to all of them? Oh, you know, the only way I can tell you really is the same kind of feeling. Well, listening to Karen Carpenter's voice then mm -hmm. and now is the kind of feeling that I had when I was at the Sistine Chapel. When I walked into the Sistine Chapel and I was under Michelangelo's mm -hmm. work of art, I knew I was in the presence of genius. 
that's the feeling you got. That's that's only how I can describe wow. when I listen to this angel, this angel's voice of Karen. No, Carpenter. I have to admit, when I was younger, I loved the Carpenters also, and I ah. listened to their music, and I was so comforted. It made me feel good. Yeah, yeah. Especially if I was a little down, it picked me up. I have to read you the opening line of Randy's book. Okay. I want you to know I did not kill my daughter. At first I was afraid, I was petrified, kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But what, I... what, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Gloria Gaynor! I will survive, won a Grammy, and I want to know, where is that Grammy now? Funny you should ask. Oh. It's right here. A Grammy. Oh my really gosh, Grammy. I have a Grammy in my own hands. Okay, now what does this say at the, at the bottom there? Gloria Gaynor. Best Disco Recording, 1979. Thank you for being in bed with us. Oh. Mm -hmm. with and with Booby. <laughs> Would you do us a favor, please? Yeah. Would you lead us out with just a few bars of I Will Survive? Oh, honor us, honor us. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> oh, no, not I. Oh. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love. Peek in next I'll week to see who will be I've in got bed all my life with to live, And I've got Kelly. all my love to give. And I'll survive. Oh. I will survive. I will survive. Jason, thank you so much for being <laughs> on our show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jason. So much fun to be in bed with you guys. <laughs> thank you for being in bed. Peek in next time to see who will be in bed with Dan and Kelly. See you next time. Ciao, guys. Bye.